Hey, my name is Gabe, I'm with JTEC, and today I'm going to show you how to take lug studs off and put them back on. Alright, first, you're going to want to have it down to the wheel hub. Alright, so this is the wheel hub. The rotor pretty much goes on here, and then the wheel entire goes in the rotor, and then that's how you uh, have your wheel assembly. Now, so the, what we're going to need for this project is we're going to need some type of hammer. Ball pain does it. You're gonna need the uh, the proper wrench for the nut, and here we got three quarters. And you're going to want a vise in order to hold it, or something to hold it. And uh, you're gonna need some washers and a lug nut. You don't need all the lug nuts, but one lug nut works just fine. Okay, so first, what you want to do is you want to get the desired lug stud. So we just got pick one, you know. We're gonna place it in here. And we're gonna tighten it down. Now we're tightening it down so that when we hit the lug stud out, it doesn't move. All right. So to get it out, you're not gonna need the washers. You just need the stud. You just need the uh, lug nut. Now, what you gotta do is we're gonna pick the top one right here. But when you put the lug nut on there, you don't just put it on there and start whacking away. You will damage the lug nut. So what you want to do is you want to make it as flush as possible. With the, as you can see here, pretty flush, very flat, shape on the side. All right. Now I'm gonna take the ball peen hammer and knock it out. All right. See, came out. A few swings, almost no problem. Take the lug nut off, and then you got your uh, lug stud right there. Looks like a big old bolt without the head. Rinse and repeat that until all your lug studs are off. Now, in order to put them back, you just pop it in there. And now we're going to use the washers. I'm going to place the washers on the threaded side of the lug stud. Now, your lug nut has got a rounded part and a flat part. Okay, this round part is going to go up, the flat part is going to go toward the, uh, toward the washers in order to make them flush. Alright, so the way this works is you're going to, uh, you're going to just tighten it down until the light stud is back in the hole where it's supposed to be. You've got to be careful not to over torque it, because you will mess it up. Alright. Tighten this up a little bit more. All right, it shouldn't move anymore. It's got it there. One more turn should do it, and I about got it. Okay. So, it did wind up turning a little bit because of the torque of it, but you see the lug stud is bad than it's supposed to be. <sighs> Alright. And that's how you, how you change a uh, lug stud. Thanks for watching.